What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. Love recognizes no barriers. It jumps, hurdles, leaps fences, penetrates walls to arrive at its destination full of hope. The powerful story of relentless love based on the best-selling novel by Francine Rivers might see its second part. The Western romance hasn't been finished completely, and some questions deserved to be answered. So even though we were waiting for a long time for the first movie to hit the theaters, we might see a sequel sooner than we thought. Recap. 1850, California's gold country, was the time when men used to sell their souls for a lump of gold and women used to sell their bodies for a place to sleep. Angel doesn't expect anything from men, just betrayal. She was sold into prostitution as a child, survived, and kept her hatred alive. The things she hates the most are men who are using her, leaving her dead and empty inside. Yeah, Redeeming Love is a life-changing story of God's unconditional, all-consuming, and redemptive love. It is based on a Francine Rivers best-selling novel inspired by the biblical story of Hosea, a prophet who married Gomer, an unfaithful woman, and set during the California Gold Rush. Francine Rivers has very passionate fans and she is the reason why people buy Christian fiction. The fans wanted to see in the movie exactly what they imagined on the page, and so they did. The movie was extremely good, with extraordinarily attractive actors who left their hearts in the performances in very beautiful settings, in a story that is suitable for a particular spiritual worldview. For people who don't share this view of horrific challenges leading to a connection to God, this movie wasn't that satisfying. The story centers on Angel, a beautiful but deeply tortured girl who was sold into prostitution when she was only 8 years old. When she turned 18, she succeeded to escape the man who tortured her and found her way to California. Anyway, she ended up right back in a brothel in a life of prostitution where she was the most expensive girl there. Some success, huh? Angel lost her faith in love after watching her mom pine for her father who never loved her and being used by men for years. All she wanted was to earn enough money and build herself a cabin in the mountains where she can live alone. And then he enters her life, Michael Hosea, offering her his heart. But as wounded she is, she doesn't believe it could be real. It was love at first sight, at least for him. He believed that God gave him a sign that Angel is the woman for him. So he spends all his gold night after night just to get a chance to talk with his love and to convince her to marry him. Angel has heard those words a thousand times before, and she doesn't trust him. At one point, she realizes that her dreams will never be fulfilled. So she tries to take her life by goading the brothel's bouncer into ruthlessly beating her. As she lays down, Michael returns for her and she finally agrees to marry him, swearing that she'll never give give him her heart. The more they spend time together, the more he melts the ice around her. This is truly a one-of-a-kind story that exposes the genuine power of love in all possible forms, that heals a person and changes her life forever. Release date and cast There is no official information about a possible second part of the movie, but rumors are getting louder and louder. We had a huge amount of uncertainty about the first movie, so you can even imagine what could happen with the sequel. The movie was originally announced in April of 2020, but it started filming a month later. So the plan was to hit the theaters in the spring of 2021. Anyway, the date was pushed back due to the ongoing pandemic, so we watched it for the first time on January 21st this year. DJ Caruso was the director of the movie, and this name stands behind some huge projects such as Eagle Eye, Disturbia, I Am Number 4, and XXX, Return of Sander Cage. We haven't heard a lot of him since then, but addressing the sensitive topics of the movie, Caruso said, while many are victims of horrible circumstances that will haunt them forever, some characters are able to overcome the pain, the sorrow, and the brutality 
mortality to discover how remarkable they truly are. Angel's journey reminds us that healing happens through love and acceptance, never through judgment or force. Anyway, who can we expect in the possible sequel of the movie? Of course, that will be Abigail Cohen who lead the cast as Angel. Alongside her, there will be Tom Lewis will hit that like button and subscribe button. <laughs> no really. In all seriousness now, let's hope that he'll be playing Michael Hosea again. Logan Marshall Green in the role of Paul, the beautiful Nana Dubrev as May, Eric Dane as the Duke, and Famke Jansen as Duchess. There is no official confirmation from the studio about any of the actors. This information is based on post-movie interviews and rumors spread by some insiders on social media. Plot details Redeeming Love is a very historical romance novel, but in the past 25 years, it became a romance classic. Some people even count it as the best in this genre. Because of these things, we were all looking forward to the movie arriving on the screens, and it was like rediscovering the story all over again. The title reveals a lot. It shows that there will be sin and there will be redemption. The heroine of the story is called Angel, and Michael Hosea is the man who will help her find redemption. The story takes place in the American Old West and amid the California gold rush of 1850. Christians were flocking to the theaters to see the movie because it's a retelling of the book of Hosea in the Bible. Now, everyone seems to be talking about this movie in the past few months. The social media newsfeed are flooded with reviews of people defending the movie, and some others are saying that Christians should not be seeing this movie. Anyway, all of the discussions around this movie on the social media have to do with the question, should Christians watch sex scenes or is it appropriate for Christians to watch sex scenes in movies? If those screens are either driving the story and an important component of the art of the movie or if they're pointing to some type of a redemptive end. This seems to be the question that everybody is asking but we might miss the point here since that is not what the book of Hosea is about. The book has a much deeper story. In the person of Angel, we see the relentlessness of the litany of tragic pain including suicide, incest, abortion, theft, child molestation, sex trafficking, abandonment, arson, and much more. And this may come across as upsetting to those not schooled in the specific form of Christian storytelling. When asked what drew him to this project, Tony Lewis said, the script really, the script and meeting DJ Caruso, the director. I read the novel before I did my audition and I got through it in one sitting. I just ate it up. I loved it. It was really eye-opening and not what I expected at all. It was much darker and harsher than I thought it was going to be. And as soon as I read that, I thought, yeah, I'd love to be involved. Abigail was as excited as he was. Yeah, I mean, same with you. I read the script and I was very impressed and inspired by Angel's story and strength. The love story was a beautiful one and I adore love stories, so I was instantly drawn in. And we hope to see them both this excited to be involved in a sequel of the story. They own this to the fans. So we'll carefully follow every piece of information connected to this movie and we will keep you updated. On a related note, tell us down in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on the first movie? Was it as good as the book? What do you expect from the sequel? What are your expectations and what are your theories? Which characters that haven't been mentioned should appear? And what are your suggestions? If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.